Welcome to the future, son. Welcome to the war. CryEngine's recent update is a polished upgrade that emphasizes graphical fidelity and performance optimization. Its hallmark, real-time rendering capabilities are sharper than ever, producing near-photorealistic visuals with improved dynamic lighting, particle effect, and texture streaming. The engine excels at creating environments that feel alive and immersive. Key advancements include the enhancement of SVOGI. Sparse Voxel Octree Global Illumination. Now, what this feature does is delivers dynamic and realistic global illumination that adapts seamlessly to environmental changes. The Phases engine has also seen refinement, allowing for more realistic character movement, distractible environment, and object interactions. This version introduces better tools for open-world game development, including optimized resource management and support for large-scale environment. The ongoing work to redesign their user interface aims to make the engine's extensive toolset more approachable, though it still requires some level of technical expertise to unlock its full potential. CryEngine has a strong foothold in the gaming industry particularly for FPS games and graphically intense genres. Titles like Far Cry and Crisis set benchmarks for visual excellence, and more recent games like Hunt, Showdown, demonstrates its ability to handle multiplayer gameplay and atmospheric storytelling. In the movie industry, CryEngine has a smaller presence compared to Unreal Engine, which dominates virtual production. However, CryEngine's real-time rendering capabilities and photogrammetry tools makes it a valuable asset for pre-visualization and digital set creation. While it hasn't achieved the same level of adoption as Unreal, its potential for cinematic application remains strong. Beyond gaming and film, CryEngine's advanced rendering and fixes capabilities makes it a compelling choice for simulations and training applications in industries like architecture, automotive design, and military training. CryEngine's strengths comes with sets of challenges that limit its accessibility. Chief among these is its steep learning curve. While the latest update improves usability, mastering CryEngine's full potential still requires significant technical expertise, making it less suitable for beginners. The engine's hardware demands are another barrier. CryEngine is optimized for high-end systems, which can deter indie developers or studios without access to cutting-edge hardware. This focus of top-tier performance often comes at the expense of scalability. Also, Crytek's licensing and monetization model has also faced criticism for lacking the transparency and developer-friendly term offered by competitors like Unreal and Unity. Additionally, while the documentation has improved, it still lags behind the extensive resource available for its rivals. CryEngine's biggest rival will be Frostbite and Red Engine, which dominate the niches in FPS and RPG development, but their closed ecosystems limit their appeal outside their respective studios. Its biggest open engine is Unreal Engine. By contrast, CryEngine is available to a broader audience, maintaining its relevance for studios that prioritizes high-end visuals. Quick info here. Most people might be wondering why all of a sudden we're putting out more voiceover content. Well, I decided to revisit some of my old content and realized I need to upgrade and so I decided to put a team together where I can bring back my in-depth review session on movies, animation, and the entire VFX process of movies and games. I think that is the best way forward in producing very well educative content and so kindly bear with us as we put things together to come back stronger and if you've loved the video so far, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like and share. To be more technical, 3ds Max uses regular flute which is 16 bits for positioning and double flute which is 32 bits for modification whereas Blender employs regular flutes for transforms and only half flute which is 8 bits for modification. We're here to test shooting setups that haven't been possible in virtual production, but we now know that with the advances of technology, with improvements in Unreal Engine, we've set up a series of scenarios that are going to test that and demonstrate how we can take it into next year. 
Unreal Engine's recent update continues to showcase why it's the industry standard for AAA game development and high-budget cinematic production. This version refines core technologies like Lumen, Nanite, and Virtual Shadow Maps, offering developers unprecedented control over lighting, textures, and performance. The update brings more stability, better optimization for large-scale environments, and new tools for procedural generation. For developers, this means fewer roadblocks in creating massive, immersive worlds. For gamers, it means experiences that feel richer, more dynamic, and closer to photorealism. In short, the latest update of Unreal Engine is not just a game engine, it's a platform for storytelling on a scale we've rarely seen. Unreal Engine's recent update introduces refinements to technologies that are already changing the industry. Nanite, for example, allows for the use of ultra-high resolution models without tanking performance. This means developers can incorporate intricate details in their environment without compromise. Lumen, Unreal Engine's real-time global illumination system, delivers lighting that adapts naturally to changes in the environment, whether it's sunlight filtering through trees or the glow of a lantern in a dark corridor. Another standout feature is its procedural content generation too. Developers can now create sprawling, dynamic worlds with a fraction of the effort. For example, forest, cities, or mountain ranges can be generated procedurally, then fine-tuned to achieve the level of artistry that was once painstakingly manual. Additionally, Unreal Engine boasts expanded compatibility with virtual production workflows. This is a game-changer for the film industry enabling directors to visualize and shoot scenes in real time with digital sets that are rendered as convincingly as practical ones. Unreal Engine has cemented itself as a cornerstone of both the gaming and movie industries. In gaming, it powers some of the most visually stunning and ambitious titles, from AAA franchises like Fortnite to indie gems that leverage its power. The ability to handle vast open worlds coupled with photorealistic visuals has made Unreal the engine of choice for many developers. In the film industry, Unreal's impact is equally profound. Virtual production tools have been used in blockbuster hits like The Mandalorian, where LED walls displaying Unreal Engine's rendered environment replaced traditional green screens. Directors can now work with live digital backdrops, saving time and money while enhancing creative possibilities. However, Unreal Engine is not without its challenges. Its cutting-edge features demand significant hardware resources, meaning that developers with less powerful setups may face performance bottlenecks. For indie developers or smaller studios, the learning curve can also be daunting. Unreal's wealth of features is both a blessing and a curse, as mastering them all takes time and expertise. Moreover, while Unreal's royalty-based pricing model is favorable for large-scale projects, it can become expensive for mid-sized studios, particularly when a game starts generating significant revenue. Unity, with its more straightforward pricing tiers, may remain more appealing to developers on a budget. Of course, Unreal Engine is not alone in this space. Unity, CryEngine, and Godot are amongst its most notable competitors, each with their own strengths and limitations. Unreal Engine's recent update isn't just an update, it's a statement. It's a declaration that Epic Game intends to remain at the forefront of digital storytelling, whether in games, movies, or beyond. While its steep learning curve and hardware demands may pose barriers for some, the unparalleled quality it delivers makes those challenges worth overcoming. Okay, if you love this video, kindly don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Until my next video, peace.